Good morning, Fishers Tigers. I'm Joseph Basso, and welcome to FHS Weekly. Here's how you can get involved this week. All girls who are interested in the tennis season this spring need to attend the mandatory meeting for uniform sizing, ordering spirit wear, filling out all forms, and for dues collection. All information will be provided for the upcoming season. Be sure to be in Cafe A after school today at 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. Do you have a vast vocabulary? Are you competitive? Do you want to meet new people? If so, join the Scrabble Club. Compete for fun and win prizes. There will be an interest meeting on Wednesday, February 5th from 3 to 3.20 p.m. and H213. Hey, Isabella, do you know where Joe is? We need to film Tiger Talk. Um, I think I saw him, like, run towards the woods. Something about a groundhog. <sighs> Typical Joe. I'll go find him. I thought this way. Sorry, sorry. You are so irresponsible. Hey, what's up? What's up? We need to be filming Tiger Talk. Why are you in the woods anyway? Well, it's, it's Groundhog's Day. I'm looking for the groundhog. You're kidding, right? What do you mean? Groundhog's Day was yesterday. What? No, we can't. No. What? Yeah, there's six more weeks of spring. Come on. What's up, Fishers Tigers? Welcome to Tiger Talk. Today on this special episode, I've got Marin Washington, host of FHS Weekly, Mr. Harris, teacher of African Studies and World History class. Um, it is Black History Month, so I just want to start things off with a simple question. Um, what does Black History Month mean to you guys? You can take it away, um, Marin. Black History Month means to me a time where I can learn about the culture of what it means to be black and all the important black people that you know, in the other 11 months that we don't get to learn. So I like it a lot. Yeah, and I would agree. It's a time where we can look back and look at the deep history that we have within the United States and understand the contributions that we have provided and the idea that we've built the United States from the ground up. And this reminder that we're not a side note, that we actually are in the forefront um, and should be in the forefront. And when we talk about the greatest nation in the world, do you think that it's a necessary um, holiday or thing to celebrate in February? I think there's a debate that pe people have about whether or not we should have a month for African American history. And I think if you look back at the history of the month, it was a necessity, right? The yeah. idea that we didn't celebrate the accomplishments of African Americans. And so in about, I think it was 1975, that we actually, at a national level, made it a holiday for that entire month. And um, it's really important because, you know, we talk about it all the time, how we don't talk about the contributions of African Americans in the United States. So obviously still today, we still need to talk about the contributions. And so many people aren't aware of all the things that we have done in the United States. And it's pretty important. But again, this broader debate about whether or not we should be discussing the contributions throughout the entire year, not just in a month, which by the way is shorter than the rest. Yeah. 28 days, <laughs> except this year's 29. True. Yeah. So, but like for me, I think it's, I think it's a good time. Um, some of the clubs that I'm in, we get to help out during this month. Um, also, I personally think that um, our school, it kind of tries to make Black History Month like, you know, this big deal, which it is, but then the other months, you know, we don't, there's not that much stuff going on in the other months. So, I, pers I think that it's important that we have this month so we can learn about everything, but I also want the school to put a bigger um, input on the other months, Latino month, Women's month, LGBTQ month, every ethnicity, every kind of person. Like I just want more months to represent different okay. kinds of people. And Mary, you're an FBL, right? Yes. So what are there any events this month or this month that anybody that's going on this month <laughs> um so um in fdl right now we're having the black history night which is coming up in february and then we have the winter dance please go to the winter dance it's going to be so much fun and at the black history month i actually will be there and so will cameron since he's a member of fbl 
and Mr. Harris is our sponsor, well, so he'll be there too. So come, come and see what's it about. Yep, yep, yep. Um, all right, another question: um, Is it important to have Black History Month, and should it be considered a part of American history? Did well, we absolutely, touch on yeah, that? but we touch on but that. but when, but I I like that, but I want to go even more into what you talk talked mm -hmm. about. I I think as we re reflect on what the school can do, I think there's already work being done, particularly let's say in the history department, right? Like we talk all the time about trying to make sure that the the curriculum that we put forth, like how we teach it in class, is as diverse as we possibly can because it's easy to fall into the European trap that we always talk about Europe yes. and particularly in a world history always course right you talk about, about that course but we spend a lot of time in Europe and so the history department I know for sure uh, are making great strides in trying to diversify how we present history from around the world and from various perspectives so that everyone feels as though they're included in what they see um, like for me, um, so like ever since freshman year, I've been in AP classes. So I took AP US and yeah, you learn stuff, but I've been learning the same, about the same people every year since probably third grade, you know, MLK, Harriet Tubman, all those people. But, and then my mom, she has this book of all the black amenders and she makes me read it every year during this month, which is great. But um, I started taking this class called Ethnic Studies last year, and when I tell you, I learned yes. in one semester more than I've ever learned in my 10 years of being in school, learning about American history. And then so this year I decided I wanted to be in African Studies so I can learn more besides their European history because, as he said, in our history classes as well, the main focus is their European history. But African Studies, the African history, that's, that's a big part of our history, which goes into our American history. Yeah. yeah. So every single every single culture that makes America, that's American history to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. And and I want to make sure that everyone feels like this month is not simply for black and brown folks in the United States. What people need to realize is that the history of African Americans in the United States is everyone's history. Mm -hmm. It's a part of everybody's life. And so I want to make sure that everyone in this school understands that it is your responsibility, too, to educate yourself on, on different racial groups and ethnic groups from around the world that aren't necessarily your own so that you can diversify your understanding of what's going on around you. And another thing I like about Black History Month that um, is a lot of times in the history classes, we tend to focus on slavery mm -hmm. when it comes to only talking about the black history. But during this month, I think teachers try to put more input, you know, about the black inventors, black um, singers, all that that we don't really learn about, which is good because talking about slavery all the time, yeah. it kind of can get draining. Yeah, so absolutely. This month is kind of makes it more exciting to learn about the history. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And that uh, actually wraps up all the questions that we have for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Black History Month. And let's have a great day. See you later, Tigers. Do you like to make music or even just like to listen? If the answer to either of these questions is yes, the JEL Music and Sound is the class for you. JEL Music and Sound gives you all the tools necessary to express yourself musically. Not only will this class allow you to work with professional audio equipment, but you'll also be taught new information to help you grow as an artist. Hi, my name is Malachi. I'm a senior here. And uh, I took this class like mainly because like since I was young, I was always like interested in music. I was like listening to music. And so a friend that graduated last year that took the class, he um, recommended me take it and I did and I love it. I'll be the love man. I can you know I can hit the music. I like JEL because it gives me the opportunity to express my creativity at school. Right. In some ways you're just like all your friends, but on stage you're a star. Make sure y'all add me on the Snapchat at uh, High Saw Kid. Follow me on Instagram at Malachi, uh, Malachi, M-I-L-A-K-Y-I on Instagram. Did I mess up the take? No. I like JEL because I like making music and it's a class where you get the opportunity to make music and uh, 
do some other interesting things uh, in terms of like audio with movies and stuff like that, and it's fun. If you're a lover of music of any form, then you won't regret joining JEL Music and Sound. Rising juniors and seniors, if you're interested in this class, contact your counselor to enroll today. JEL 5. Welcome back, Tigers. Moving on with guidance. Stanford University offers many summer programs such as the Pre-Collegiate Summer Institute, Summer Humanities Institute, Mathematics Camp, and Medical Youth Science Camps for students of all ages. For more information, including application requirements and deadlines, please visit the link on our announcements page. For over 60 years, the Summer Science Program is a residential, hands-on experimental science program where participants work in teams to compete in research projects, each with team acquiring original data and analyzing it. The intense 39-day schedule adds field trips, guest speakers, and much more. This summer, there will be programs with 36 participants, each at four campuses, Purdue University, Indiana University, New Mexico Tech, and University of Colorado. Apply by February 28th through their website or the link on our announcements page. The School of Art at Ball State is hosting its annual Portfolio Review Day on Saturday, February 8th. Physical and digital art will be reviewed as a part of the criteria for admission to the Bachelor of Fine Arts program. In addition, learn about admissions processes and other areas of studies offered by the School of Art and Art Scholarships. Students participating in the portfolio review need to register by February 5th at bsu.edu forward slash art forward slash portfolio day. Want to gain exposure to the world of technology and how it's used in program and problem solving using Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and e-textiles? Explore technology and everything you can do with it by attending IU School of Informatics Computing and Engineering High School Camp this summer on the Bloomington campus. The curriculum is based on what's trending in technology, and all experience levels are welcome. Visit the link on our announcements page for more information. If you're a high school sophomore, junior, or senior interested in experiencing business, language, and cultures of East Asia, the Middle East, Turkey, Russia, and Eastern Europe, the Business is Global two-week summer program offered by IU Cyber, the Indiana University Center for Institutional Business and Education and Research, may be for you. Visit our announcements page for more information. Application deadline is April 8th. Tigers are number one in the state for basketball. Come support your girls this Friday at 6 p.m. in Westfield for our first sectional game. The winner will advance to the sectional championship game the following night for a potential matchup against HSC. Let's go Tigers! Let's go Tigers! Hey Tigers, Sophia Solis here with my adorable MTV shirt. I've got some stellar announcements in store for you. The Harry Potter Club is hosting the Yule Ball on Friday, February 7th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Cafe A. Join them for a magical evening. There will be food, fun, activities, and dancing. No waltzing required. Wear your Harry Potter gear or school dance attire and bring a friend or date. Tickets are $5 for one, $7 for two, and can be bought at lunch throughout the rest of this week. See you there! The eSports meeting will be this Thursday, February 6th in room B111. Bring a friend, game, and a signed permission slip. As always, follow our Instagram at FHS Weekly News, and you can follow my Instagram and YouTube at IconicallyHer. Stay fabsome. Bye.